For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to do a really nice type of color blending with NeoPixels inside of CircuitPython. So what you can see here, I've got uh, a blend of colors going from red to green. So I'm specifying two endpoints, and the code here is solving the uh, color gradation between them. So what I'll do, let me just do a little demo. I'm going to give it a, a different color. I've defined some colors here. So how about I'm going to go from blue to yellow, and I'll hit save. And what you'll see here is that it is going to calculate for eight steps. That's how many pixels I'm telling it to do this between. Uh, the RGB values that fade it from red, green, blue color components of one color into another. Uh, now, if I go ahead and run the full code, you'll see here really nice results from the full 64 pixels. We get much more gradual gradations here. So you can see I'm going from red to blue. Then the next one here is teal to amber, and then magenta to amber. Really like that amber. Uh, so you can do this with any colors you want. And the way this works is, in my code, I've imported NeoPixel. I've set up a 64 NeoPixel strip, and then I've defined a bunch of colors. And then I'm using these two key functions here. This function is I called create gradient, and it wants a start color, an end color, and the number of pixels. And what this does is it goes through and creates this variable called step R, step G, and step B. And these are the difference or delta between the color component that we're starting with and the color component that we're ending with. Uh, we then cast those to a list called gradient that has each of those tuples of RGB values for the 64 steps that we're going to be going through. Uh, then I have another little uh, function here called display gradient that just takes the number of LEDs I want to use, the start color, the end color, and how quickly I want to do it, and it feeds that into my function that creates the gradient. Uh, then I've also got a function here for convenience called blank screen. So the main code here is just doing display gradient, 64, and then a couple of colors. I wait a little bit for that blank screen, and then uh, do that all over again. And so this is one way that you can create a really nice color gradient between two colors inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.